Gemini's, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Come say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. That's my favorite thing. And I will make sure later on this evening to come back and give you a personal. I'm pulling from Divine Master's Oracle. Let's see what Master is coming through for you. Joie cool. Divine mission, enlightened action. Make choices from the heart. Joie cool. I think that's the way you say it. Cool or cool. Enlightened action. Enlightened action. Make choices from the heart. Which is, goes well with the theme of this particular spread since we're moving toward, we just got out of the full moon in Pisces with the lunar eclipse, which draws off the south node, south node representing the past. So it's about, that was an amplified release process, you know, release of the past. And um, we're moving toward the new moon in Libra, which is Venus ruled. So that's where the heart right comes in enlightened action make choices from the heart so setting intentions from the heart for the new moon with a solar eclipse so that will be a north node where we're headed for the future so this spread is supposed to guide you through continuing the release process the lessons the baggage the release the blocks the forgiveness the self-love all of that i'll walk you through it let's go so that by the time we get to the new moon in a couple weeks, path will be cleared. You'll be good to go. That is the point. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Yes. I, I'm seeing some themes. Okay. So the lesson here, five of swords, what's the lesson from past relationships for you or within this connection itself? Yeah, it feels like maybe some game playing, some sabotage, you know, um, an unfair fight. And, and, and possibly a tendency on your part to um, feel a sense of defeat very quickly. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling like, you know, very defeated in relationships or in matters of the heart. Baggage, what are you potentially carrying around from this? Is, um, and <laughs> kind of came through for both Aries and Taurus, is that there, it's taking a very long time, right? Like you've been inordinately patient, waiting for someone to come along whose intentions you could trust. So part of your lesson past relationships is you know you can't always trust people's intentions and you certainly can't always turn your back um and so the baggage is you know how long do i have to wait to find someone that i can trust that's some heavy baggage release what do you need to let go of from these past relationships or with regard to this one um I think your fear of the unknown, you know, I'm just going to go with that for now. Obviously, I'm going to clarify. Um, and what is blocking you from either reframing what's happening in this connection or from finding new love? I'm going to, I'm just going to say it because I'm reading for Gemini. So I, I'm aware you could be a cross watcher. And by the way, cross watchers, this can all be for you. This can be talking about you. Um, take it as it resonates. But there's a thing about the Page of Wands that I really, really love, and it can also be a block, and that is superficiality. Keeping things cheap and cheerful. My sister says that all the time, and she's a Gemini. And, and it's so quintessential Gemini. Wanna go do something? Let's keep it cheap and cheerful, right? And she says it, like that and that is what i feel from this page of wands there's a, it could be a potential block in that in order to kind of avoid 
all of you know the fear of the unknown the apprehension of getting involved too deep because you can't trust intentions can't you know you feel easily defeated perhaps you have the battle scars right um there could be a tendency to keep things surface level and that could be blocking you what do you need to forgive wow um the eight of wands yeah if we're gonna see this as the block then what you may need to forgive is is um giving too much you know tmi tmi <laughs> right like where's the balance in the middle i have said that to my gemini sister on occasion too i have said do you have to give so much information like there has to be a happy medium here so okay if there was a communication that got too deep that went too far between you and other people other relationships or in this connection specifically that you're here to watch about okay so if there was a difficult conversation or a co communication um, on your side on their side or in relationships in general where too much was revealed and you feel like you gave too much away right and you ended up getting cut I'd say burned, but we're going with the sword metaphor. Um, forgive it. Forgive it. It's done. What's done is done. But the antidote to that is not to keep things cheap and cheerful. Okay? And so for self-love, what do you need to work on? I'd say work on your, uh, focus on you for now. The Eight of Pentacles is a work on it card. So it is about getting a little bit more detailed so that's good um and not really not really worrying about what's kind of going on like pick something that's really that you know is an issue for you and focus on that and give it your time your effort your energy your attention and 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 relish in that right that's a form of self-love make you your pet project gemini or whoever you are watching make you your own pet project that would be great okay so there you go that's your divine mission okay so let me go ahead and get some clarifiers going lesson five of swords Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so you get really close to marriage. <laughs> this is what's coming through. You manifest it really. You think you're right there, and you end up getting cut. Right? Like serious sabotage. This King of Pentacles, masculine archetype of a life partner. There is the um, Hierophant. So this would be manifesting someone who is serious about life partnership, um, marriage, whatever is what is your thought. And then having it all be a very cruel trick. Because these two cards together cruel trick so that's your lesson um, and so if you are focused on manifesting and have been focused on that in relationships <clears throat> and this is a lesson from past relationships that it keeps kind of happening I can see that your baggage is like how like what's happening here Right there, Seven of Pentacles is a patience card. Right. Ding, ding, ding. Right. 
baggage is, how long am I going to have to wait to find my one true love? Because this is not fun for me. And now I got my now I got my defenses up. Pretty damn high. So you're meeting with conflict, tension, resistance, and you're carrying that baggage around. Whether it's your own sense of inner conflict and defensiveness and resistance, or whether, you know, that's part of the baggage is that's what I get, you know, so it just feels like it's not worth it. It's, it's taking too long. It doesn't exist. Oof. Yes. Release. What do you need to relate, let go of from these situations? Or even within this relationship? Well, I'm seeing the Four of Cups from the bottom of the deck. So that's sort of in your, in your psyche is disappointment, disillusionment. So we want to release that for sure, but it's almost like the fear that I want to say like losing hope, fear, like there's lost hope here. There's lost hope like that it's not going to work out for you. It's not a workable situation. At first I thought the moon was fear of the unknown, but now I'm thinking like it's a very specific fear. Because that moon is, that, that star, I'm sorry, is the dream, right? The dream of someone to walk through life with. The one true love. But now the baggage is, I'm waiting and waiting, and all, the more I wait, the more complicated it gets. And now what you have to release is the fear that it won't happen for you. That it won't work out for you. That thought that this is as good as it gets. So you need to release that. Not just within this connection, but from past relationships as well. What's blocking you? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Remember how I said cheap and cheerful? Um, yeah, because you're 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 and it's either blocking you from finding this one true love, right? Um, or from deepening the love you've got here is you're just <laughs> Keeping things very surface level because something went too deep before or whatever. Or there, you know, or deeper com communication has led to either conflict, arguments, something. But it's blocking you from having second chances, right? The judgment card, second chances, reconciliation. Um, is that second chance at love, at happiness. The nine of pentacles underneath is your independence and autonomy and that sense of self, like I'm a catch. I don't have to, I don't have to keep things flitty and flighty. I could go deep now and then. I have to be authentic when I communicate. Right? There's a block here because you're you're not, you know, you may be trying to kind of appeal um, in a different way that isn't really authentically you. 
Um, so uh, in a way that feels very self-protective. So the conversation that likely that, that's needs your forgiveness likely had something to do with the lack of reciprocity, you carrying more than your fair share in a connection, and all all your fears that that's what created this scenario to begin with, and put everything on hold. Everything grew stagnant at that point, or maybe that's when, or if, if there was a change in the nature of your connection or in other relationships, if, you know, communication would get to that point about the equal give and take and being more invested in the connection more generous with time and all that. And it's not always about a money thing. That's not what I'm suggesting, but the Six of Pentacles is generosity and reciprocity and equal give and take. And then boom, there's the, the moon coming in with like your, your spidey senses says, and that's when everything just kind of stagnates. So the forgiveness quotient here is about what you communicated having that deep conversation and what's revealed, the moon, what's revealed. And it seems like you need to forgive yourself for being honest with your emotions, the moon, emotional honesty about what you need. Because that's authentic. And if somebody's going to be rejecting and turn on you, and that tells you more about them than it does about you needing to change your communication style. Does it not? Yeah. Self-love. Yes. I love it. So like I said, um, make yourself your own pet project and focus on what you really want for yourself. Two of Wands, it's a big, big wide world out there. Lots of options, you know, and justice. It is about balance and harmony, sure, but it's about fairness. Being treated fairly. Five of swords. There's no fairness there. That's a, that's a zero sum game kind of thing. And then get your peace of mind. Yep. So I, I this one feels um, markedly less intense than the Aries and Taurus readings. So this one feels like you're already kind of there. And I, I, for you, would focus on the communication thing, which is like totally a Gemini thing, you know, because you could really get yourself a second chance, um, especially if it's within this same relationship, um, right? Like maybe you got burned by going deep into some some territory um and so forgive yourself for that or maybe you need to forgive the person's reaction and um but don't 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 fall into the trap of um being something you're not or modifying your style you are who you are and i would say you know you you might have a second chance here and so focus on what you really want, what fairness feels like to you. Get yourself some peace of mind. And let's jump into the extended where we're going to look at you and your person 
in a little bit more detail um, your energy and their energy side by side your blocks and their blocks um, this is a different block this one's just for you with regard to past things and what needs to be released but for you and the connection your relationship um, divine guidance and uh, how things might proceed going forward so the extended is more about your relationship this is more for you to get you from that full moon eclipse to the new moon eclipse um, and so if this has been enlightening and <laughs> you've enjoyed the reading and you haven't yet done so, please do subscribe below. Uh, that's how I get to stay here and do what I love to do most, which is to bring you messages to help you gain some insight and navigate your relationships. And if you um, want the extended, the links are below for that. And uh, there's a couple different options, so make sure you are aware of what you're clicking before you purchase. I'm heading there now, and I'll see you in a second. Bye for now.